it's like you guys come up with your own terms and we come up with our own and then we end up not really understanding each other. Welcome to another edition of video blog post by Glossika. I am Mary from France and I'm your teacher today. And I'm Benoit, her co-host for the day. I'm from Quebec, Canada. So I know some of my French friends told me one of the things that like, confused them when they moved to Quebec mm -hmm. is how for them a portable doesn't mean the same thing as it does for us. A portable is a mobile phone. Right, so for you guys, uh, we, so for a mobile phone we would say cellulaire or cellular oh. or a telephone cellular. Okay. And then for me, a portable is like a laptop computer, or an ordinateur portable. Yeah, we would say ordinateur portable. Right, right. So yeah, there's that one. Um, I know you guys also like to use email. Yeah, um, basically like in English, we yeah, say yeah. a mail, mail. Right, right, right. So you just kind of borrowed that one. Whereas we, because, you know, we were so proud of our French and we have to translate everything. So we use courriel which is like an amalgamation of uh, courrier and électronique, and we just fuse those words together because we're lazy and we want to make it fast, right? I think before we also used courriel, but like way before, but now we right, evolved. Just, <laughs> just moved over, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I heard in Canadian French to mm -hmm. say a girlfriend, instead of saying petite amie, petite copine, you would say blonde, which yeah. literally means blonde. Literally, yes. So even if your girlfriend's hair is black, you still call her your blonde. But that's kind of weird. Why, why did you choose this hair color? Why I, blonde and not brune? I have to say I did not choose it myself. Okay. This is, <laughs> I, I was born and this was in usage already, okay. so I have to apologize. But What did your ancestors do? I, I'd, I'd have to ask them if you have a time machine, maybe. Okay. And then the same for uh, guys also, right? So for girls, we use blonde, whereas okay. you guys will use copian. But for guys, we'll use chum. I, I don't know why. Again, I don't know why. But yeah. So yeah. you French? would say copain, right? Chum would be Verlan for ugly. Yes. It's these things when we take the two syllables of a word and we invert it. Mm -hmm. So it will make this weird word. For example, Verlan means à l'envers, but just introverted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see that. No, we don't use Verlan, so that's the oh, really? difference, yeah. You never use mm -hmm. Verlan? It's not a thing for us. I, I, the first time I heard about Verlan was when I met French people, and they would use it, and I was like, what, what are you <laughs> saying to me right now? Well, mush would make chum. That's right, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I can see it now. So yeah, you guys would use copain, and then yeah. for us, because Verlan is not a thing for us, and I still don't know why it's a thing for you guys, but yeah, no, so we... The, the Verlan of copine would be pinko. Is that, is that a thing? Yeah, we would say that. <laughs> I have never heard that before. Good well, to know. No, yeah. yeah, okay. So I know also a big difference is the swearing. So we don't use the same. I don't know why we use religious words instead. Okay. Like, Carlis, tabarnak, ciboire. That sounds so ridiculous. I, it is, it really is. Especially when someone is super angry and they start saying those words and they use like a string of them. Like in French, it doesn't even mean anything. Like, yeah, it, what's... It, Right, it's not supposed to make sense. It's yeah. just like you're letting the anger out or something. Okay, interesting. See you later. Bye bye. bye. bye.